So in this problem, we're told a space vehicle accelerates uniformly from 65 meters per second at t equals 0 to 162 meters per second at t equals 10 seconds. How far did it move between the interval of t equals 2 seconds to t equals 6 seconds? So let's just write down what we're given. So we're told a space vehicle accelerates uniformly from 65 meters per second. So it's starting at this. So t sub 0, uh, its initial velocity is going to be 65 meters per second and then this is at t equals zero and then all the way to 162 meters per second so this is going to be its final velocity since it's going to it so its final velocity is 162 meters per second and then this is at 10 seconds so the amount of time in between these two is going to be 10 seconds so it's going to be 10 seconds in between and so what we need to do to find uh, how fast it traveled between these two is this is delta x, right, what we're trying to find at the end. But in order to find delta x, we're going to need uh, acceleration. And so we're going to have to solve for acceleration first. So that's what we're going to do first. So in order to solve for acceleration, we got to pick one of these formulas. And so all of these contain delta x. We're not given that. So we're going to use the first one to find acceleration. So we're going to use this one, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So v is 162 which is equal to 65 plus a, we don't know what a is, times 10 seconds, because that's the total interval. So plus 10a, we're going to minus 65 from both sides. Uh, 162 minus 65 is going to be 97. So 97 equals 10a, and then to get a, divide by 10. So a is going to be equal to uh, 9.7 meters per second squared. So now we've got a, it's going to make, a, uh, make it so we can actually solve for delta x or whatever. So a equals 9.7 meters per second squared. And so in order to find delta x, what we're going to want to do is use uh, this formula right here, number three. And so uh, the reason we're using that is because, well, if you look at the first one, uh, it doesn't have delta x, right? So it's obviously not going to be that one. And we're using this one is because we need time. This one doesn't have it. And then this one doesn't have acceleration. So that's the reason we're using uh, the third one because it contains the variables we actually have. So it's going to be delta x equals uh, v sub 0, which is 65. And then so t is our time, right? So keep in mind, uh, whatever our spacecraft thing or whatever is like it's constant over this interval. So that means that the acceleration isn't changing. So it's going to be the same throughout the entire interval. So this uh, between 2 and 4 seconds, all we got to do is uh, subtract. So what you want to do is take your 1 second, 6, and then plug in your other second. So if you're just given an interval like that, you should be able to just plug it in, uh, subtracting them, right? So 6 minus 2 in this case. So just plug that in for time. So 65 times 6 minus 2 plus 1 half times... Or acceleration which we just found right so 9.7 times t squared so uh, in this case you're plugging in 6 and then you're plugging in 2 uh, we're not plugging in 6 minus 2 which is 4 you're plugging in 6 and then you're plugging in 2 but instead of doing it in two different formulas you just can do it at once so this is really uh, 6 squared minus 2 squared so that we just shortened it into one formula you could just do just plug in 6 into a, this, this formula and then plug in 2 and then subtract. Uh, this way just is a bit quicker to show. So 6 squared is 36 minus 2 squared is 4. So 36 minus 4 is 32. So and then 6 minus 2 is 4. So we've got 65 times 4 plus 1 half times 9.7 times 32. And so... Uh, I'm not going to multiply this out for you. You can do it yourself. Uh, and so if you do multiply this out, though, you're going to get 415, or about that, 415 meters. Uh, you're going to have to round, but 415 meters. And so, yeah, that's going to be the distance traveled between t equals 2 seconds, t equals 6 seconds. So 415 meters is going to be uh, your final answer.